how many people are here. This is so thrilling. We are so deeply grateful. I want to tell you that I know some of you may be wondering, what are these guys doing here? <laughs> they don't live in Arizona. They don't pay taxes here. Country. They don't have to follow the rules country. of this state. That's right. Country. It's country first. Who else can you get a hug from Ed Sheeran? <laughs> Service. That's right. But we're here because this state, as Representative Jasmine Crockett was saying, this state has so much power. Each of you has so much power in this moment to really save the soul of this whole country. And so we're here this morning on a Sunday with you because you're here on a Sunday. We're here on this Sunday because we want to say thank you and we want to say stay strong. We know how hot it is here. We know it's not easy. Listen, all of us have made those phone calls. All of us have knocked on doors. We know it is not easy work, but it is truly God's work. Amen. What you are doing on this Sunday is God's work because you are reminding people how important they are in this democracy. You heard Michael say, democracy is a government by the people for the people. But we have forgotten that. It's like we expect somebody to swoop in and save us, right? To be the answer to all of our problems. And let's be very clear. When I look at these candidates, and I know when you look at these candidates, you know that Harris and Walls are two people who are committed to the people. They are committed to doing what's right by the American people. And on the other side, we have a bunch of guys who are committed to doing what's right for themselves and a bunch of billionaires. Preach. But they're not committed to all of us. They're not committed to those first three words of the Constitution, we the people, meaning all of the people. And so we're here today because we believe in the power of all of the people. So we want you to know how powerful you are today. I'm not here as Olivia Pope. I am here. I am here because I want each of you to remember how powerful you are in the coming hours and days and weeks. And I want you to remember to remind your neighbors how powerful they are in the coming hours and days and weeks. Each of you has the power to transform the trajectory of this country, to make sure that we are taking care of each other. So remember when you talk to people that tomorrow is the last day to register to vote. Yes. And why this is important is because what that means is tomorrow is the last day that you get to claim your voice in this democracy. Tomorrow is the last day that you get to say, I matter in this democratic system. So what you want to say to your neighbors is you don't want to give your power away. If you don't register to vote, you're giving up your voice. You're giving up your power. Do you want your neighbors to decide what you wear, what you drive, what you eat, how you work, what you get paid, what the environment looks like, what, what should happen to your kids, what books you read, what you can do with your body? No. You want to be able to make those decisions for yourself. And listen, reproductive rights is on the ballot. Yeah. Woo, right? The economy is on the ballot. Our environment is on the ballot. Education is on the ballot. Healthcare is on the ballot. When you're talking to your neighbors, ask them what they care about because you and I know that no matter what it is they care about, we are on the side that is caring about them. Okay? So tomorrow's the last day to register to vote. Wednesday voting starts. So that is what we want to get out. We want people to understand their power, to remember their power, to show up. I want to just say again to all of you, thank you. I want to introduce one other friend who's with us, Glenn Close. 